Hi everyone, in this video, I want to show you some art supplies handmade and sold by Blue Pine Arts, a company based in India. Now this video is not going to be a review because there are a lot of items which I will need to take a lot of time to actually use them before I can come up with any review. Anyway, you can find all these art supplies on their website, Instagram, Facebook pages, and even from their Etsy shop. I will put the links to all those web pages in the video description below. So this um, should be interesting because all these supplies are handmade. We have handmade paint and sketchbook and paper and even this bag that you see here. This is also handmade. Uh, it's made with upcycled fabric and uh, sewn by um, women underprivileged women in India and there is another bag here as well this one is this one has sketchbooks and this brush wrap so let's take a look at the smaller items first this looks like tea this is not paint oh that's their Instagram handle that's their contact information that's their website Let's see what's in here. Um, oh, okay. Watercolor dots. We have sky blue, velvet sky, valentine, dust, mauve. Um, so these are names that are not very common. These are very marketing names. There is no pigment information written here. So you have to find the pigment info from their website. And these are some of the colors they are selling and they all have very nice sounding names this is berry marine turquoise storm blue rosa marine lady murasaki papillon sea glass um, this looks like shimmering or metallic type of pigments um, haku rose kiss you probably won't be able to tell what those colors are just by looking at their names so let's take a look at this rose kiss and see what pigment is used to create this so this is made with the pigment pv19 and py42 okay um, how much is this this is eleven dollars and 38 cents that's us currency so the price of this pigments for single pans they range from eight us dollars onwards to 11 us let's see what's this the packaging is quite unique okay let's just tear this so this looks like a box set of watercolor wrapped with watercolor paper okay it's a nice box nice looking box so these are the pens. This is lemon yellow, uses the classic pigment PY3. And this is blue pine blue, the pigment PB153. So this is phthalo blue. And quinquilai PV19. So this is probably quinacridon rose or rose color. Now not all the paint um, have pigment info like this particular one burnt sienna um, it has no pigment info let's open this up to take a look there are magnets beneath the pens so this is wax paper this magnet is quite big so this allows you to attach the pen to the tin now this is not a metal box for mixing colors. You will need a proper palette for mixing colors. Let's take a look at the other set. And here we have a small tin set. This one with six colors. Now if you want to mix watercolor on this tin, you have to spray some white animal paint on it. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure how watercolor will work on this. This is Butterfly P Ultramarine PB29. Wow, the name is really something. And this is Turmeric Yellow Ochre PY42. All these are actually handmade pigment in the sense that they are like grounded. 
and then with gum arabic added so it's just pigment and gum arabic i will have to test the paint more thoroughly before i can review them and after the review i will probably give them away after i top them up with similar looking paint and here are some sample watercolor paper nothing is written so i don't know exactly what they are but they look like they're handmade with decade ages cold press definitely and this is a brush wrap the fabric is quite thick this fabric is made in india and strings to tie the brush wrap this is strong so the quality for this brush wrap is quite good this is quite thick not only is the fabric thick there are two layers and this stitching here looks good color of the thread here is brown or bronze um here is the occasional blue on the other side we have a mix of brown and blue there are seven pockets some are big and some are small this one is the big one anyway i have a lot of brush wraps at home so i am going to give this away to one lucky winner just check out how you can enter the giveaway contest in the video description below next up we have um, let's see what we have oh more watercolor paper again um, looks like handmade watercolor paper with decade ages i like the decade ages it looks really raw this paper is made with 100 percent cotton um, it's 200 gsm so it's not very thick but thick enough for watercolor and since it's made with 100 percent cotton paper it's going to be as durable as well cotton there are some blemishes here you can see and the paper seems to have a rougher texture on one side so this side is the one with the rougher surface the other side is much smoother and it's very obviously so so it's really easy to know which side you should paint on i have used handmade watercolor paper before such as the ones from kali paper and indigo art papers um, those are also 100% cotton handmade paper from India just like this one and the quality of handmade paper can be good based on my past experiences um, they can work pretty well with wet on wet techniques I'm not sure about this because I've not tested this yet but um, what I consider to be good watercolor paper is any paper that can work well with wet on wet technique. So if you wet the paper and you have paint on the paper, the paint should be able to spread out softly, very gently, and the color should blend very smoothly. That is good quality watercolor paper. And some of the sketchbooks uh, nowadays, uh, for example, the ones that you get with Moleskin, uh, I know a lot of people use Moleskin watercolor paper, but the paper is actually not that good for uh, wet on wet techniques you can certainly use wet on wet techniques but it's going to take more work to have the colors blend softly this is a soft cover sketchbook made with handmade paper as well handmade watercolor paper um, the fabric is also upcycled and this is nice fabric there are four pieces of watercolor paper for each signature so including this one that is pasted onto the cover and you can see the decade pages here so there are a total of 48 pages in this sketchbook and the binding is such that you can actually open this sketchbook flat I can see two holes here for the thread or the string I'm not sure how durable the binding is going to be so that's the string here the binding is quite tight um, I can see a slight gap there so if you use a lot of water the paint may actually go through here to the other pitch to the connecting pitch um, here it's glued together so no problem but here you won't be able to I mean you can lay it down flat perfectly 
just that the glue may actually get in the way. For quick uh, washes, quick sketches where you don't use a lot of water, I think it should be fine. Just be careful when you're using like a lot of water. But from what I can see so far, the binding seems to be quite tight. Here's a close look at the fabric. I'm not sure if there are going to be different designs you can choose. This fabric is considered soft, not as thick compared to the brush wrap. So this sketchbook is definitely very different compared to those uh, popular watercolor sketchbooks you can buy online. Those with flat hardcover surfaces with no blemishes, with perfectly cut edges. Um, this is handmade, so it has all the characteristics of a uh, well, handmade product. Take a look at the beautiful decked edges on the side here. All right, big thanks to Blue Pine Arts for sending over all this art supplies. I'm very excited to test the paint as well as the sketchbook and the paper. And don't forget to join the giveaway contest for this beautiful brush wrap. The giveaway contest details are in the video description below. And if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more art videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.